My name is Arvid from Team 18172 Uplift Robotics, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Hangman code uh, in App Lab in Code.org. So the first thing you want to do is go into your design, uh, and so we'll start with an intro screen, which you can just see is uh, the image and then a couple different text areas with a start button. And then for the actual uh, screen, you can see I used a text input. Uh, as well as a few different text areas and another button. And now moving into the actual code, you can see I started by, uh, obviously you want to start by setting the screen to intro screen, and then we start defining some variables. So for this, I just used the possible words that you can play Hangman with as a few different colors. And then uh, it creates a new word, which it's going to pick a random word uh, use from what this list of arrays and it's going to store that value into the variable string called current word and so now moving to the actual functions and the reason i created functions was that uh, so that they can these codes can be called uh, repetitively uh, instead of only being called once so what this whole block of code does uh, is it essentially is going to check the guess that the user types in uh, and so what it's going to do is it's going to uh, take the current word uh, and it's going to check every letter to see if it matches uh, with the character that the user typed in uh, and then if it does uh, it's going to fill this up here and if it doesn't it'll add a wrong guess and draw another body part. Uh, see the way I did this is I created a boolean called found and I set that to true or false and then uh, if there's it finds that there's six wrong guesses uh, it'll set a text uh, that says you lose uh, but if all of the letters have been found it'll say you win and then here you can see I said the input text, uh, I reset it just to make sure it would make it blank uh, after uh, the user hits the submit button. And so then, uh, as I said, the next function is just to check uh, if the user ever, if the user wins uh, or guesses every letter of the word, uh, then it'll pop up, you win. Uh, and then finally, you can see two different on event. Uh, so we have the start button uh, where it'll it'll start playing the hangman screen and then it will uh, load everything up and if you hit the submit button here uh, it'll run the actual functions that we said or that we defined earlier so uh, just as a quick example uh, welcome to hangman start uh, so I'll start by guessing the letter a so that was wrong so it it Display the array here, and then uh, we have the body part showing up, and then I'll put I. Uh, and so I didn't use a lot of words, so it's pretty clear what my word was. Uh, so I can just... So the word here was pink, and so uh, uh, this function was able to detect that I completely guessed the, the word, uh, so it displayed you win. But if I lose here, uh, I just type in <laughs> random letters. You can see after six guesses, uh, it was failed the wrong guesses in an array on the top left, and then it'll uh, find that I lost. And so that, that's really all there is to it. You can obviously add some more uh, uh, characteristics or other winning or losing screens as you want. But that's the fundamentals of a hangman game. So thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to watch the other videos.